heaven, circles above the grid. How did I manage that? You can't help but to take up booze with this life. Just Talk won't to forget party. him. Drink to him once. Finally, some peace and quiet for the most part. Buggy lighting as well by the looks of it. Um, yeah. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to, uh... <sighs> Welcome back to, uh, Stalker Brewboy Story. Um, once again, not really being able to, uh, continue after I spoke only of taking a short break and getting right back into it. So the reason for that is things got too loud, so I had to wait a while before being able to record again, and, uh... Well, by the time I... No, not even that. So, um, I, I noticed that I was down to like 40 gigabytes of free space. So I went to render a video and that took so long that it just ended up being too late by the time that was done for me to uh, actually uh, get back to recording. Also, this is technically a take number two of, of this, uh, this uh, session because I... Well, I've recently kind of sort of started looking at an official Free Boy Story guide for this playthrough. I'm, I'm not really following it really in depth because because uh, I still uh, I still want to complete this game normally. It's just trying to compare what I'm doing with what the guide says in in an attempt to uh, make sure I'm not just wasting tons and tons of time doing things completely wrong. Speaking of which, I've done precisely that by forgetting to tweak my inventory while I'm still in the bar. Damn it, if only I said come in. So uh, once again, this inventory started here. Plenty, plenty loud. Um, let's get this taken care of. <coughs> it will never end. Nothing ever ends in the zone. Let's get rid of the pistol here. Unless that is. No, that's only a primary. See, once I get all this sorted out, I, I guess I can do the inventory off camera. To get this sorted out, I'm going to uh, head on. Come on, zoom out. And head on over here to the Dark Valley. The reason for this is. Well, mainly this quest. I need to find the Dead City documents in the uh, Lab X18. Uh, thanks once again to 100 Rad. user 100 Rad's Bar for reminding me of this little feature of the PDA that I always seem to forget completely. Yeah, yeah, I'll be doing all the traveling off camera because unless something crazy decides to happen with the A life, nothing of value at all happens during this long walk. And I don't think I'll be driving my tractor over to the level changer this time and uh, flipping it right here while starting right here. So basically going nowhere. <coughs> yeah, actually going to the Dark Valley here is a two-pronged approach. Or 
two goal uh, operation or something. I can take care of this side quest here and get that AN-94 with the grenade launcher. And I can uh, head on down here to the uh, X-18 to get that stuff. Um, hopefully I remember to cut off, or cut out all this uh, clearing of the throat, but... Apparently the sp I remember seeing a loner or a new village down in this area. It's not in the map, obviously, because it was added in. But apparently, there's supposed to be something there that I missed when I was visiting in the uh, scrapped session. That's up on the secondary channel, by the way. And uh, there's apparently something over here besides this. I made sure not to look in look at the guide too in depth because, again, I want to I want to take care of most of this game, you know, just to finding things out on my own and occasionally getting help from a hundred reds bar when he uh, offers it. So yeah, I'll get my inventory sorted out here and I will uh, be back in the dark valley. Alright, so I'm obviously not in the dark valley yet, but I decided to stop in the cordon to uh, see what Nimble had. He, he didn't have anything that interesting, just a SIVA suit and an SSP-99M, the uh, green scientist suit. Uh, this isn't the one he had, this is the one I picked up from that scientist mission. I also managed to finally scrape together the 20, uh, 20 uh, bottles of vodka, so... Woohoo, 4,000. So that's an early game mission done for hardly any uh, profit whatsoever. Well, hardly any money total whatsoever. It is mostly profit. I've even got three bottles of vodka to spare. Alright, so we're now in the Dark Valley. <clears throat> I took the Cordon entrance, because obviously I was there. It's a uh, Primo story, is one of the uh, mods that... turns that le this little level changer here into a two-way. Now, from what I remember, bandits like to hang out around here. Can't seem too terribly fond of the uh, frame rate in this level on this computer. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's just my computer having trouble or the level not being quite as well compiled as the Rostock area ones are. Could be any combination of things. Whoa! Oh. Why am I not fire? Oh. Okay, it jammed. Alright. Didn't even get to make my little remark about. Jeez. How is this thing still alive? I, I decided to go with this pistol just because it was you know, light, and I didn't have a whole lot of ammo. But... God damn, I didn't even get to make a remark about that guy sitting behind his buddy. Oh. There we go. Should be one left. Because I got these little Tushkanos to deal with. Ah, oh, that's right, another pistol that I neglected to uh, do the little field of view fix on. Oh well. Now we should be safe up here since this model was pretty imperfectly made and this little open area is completely solid. Found that out the hard way after wasting a bunch of ammo. Whoops, did that? No, come on, let's use up the regular ammo before switching over to the, swapping over to that. Hmm. 
Maybe they're like a grenade. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna need to make a tactical retreat here. Uh, I need an angle that I can actually see my targets from. It isn't an easy order to, f to fulfill with uh, all the trees and crap around here. I'd like to be able to take him out with this, just because you know, the ammo is so heavy that using up a bit more will make things a bit easier, stamina-wise. Just have to be careful, because I remember Bloodsucker likes to hang out around this area. And with this weapon drawn, I'd really rather not run into that. Of course, he knows where I am right now, because I don't think they updated the uh, smart terrains or whatever they're called for the AI to accommodate for these new buildings. I can also attribute part of this uh, frame I drop here to... Just plain bad programming by GSC. Like, I'm seeing one core of my CPU getting pushed to 100% here every time the frame rate takes a dive. And, you know, supposedly in some of the patches they added and improved multi core support, but clearly it didn't really work. But that's another thing to look forward to in Lost Alpha, I guess. Multi-core support that's proper, properly supported. Hmm. Let's see, that's... Lighter pistol. What about the stats? It's weaker. I think I'll stick with this pistol for these areas, at least. crap out of here, just clean things up a bit, so. Hopefully at some point I'll find a uh, 45 caliber pistol that I'm more satisfied with. Let's say USP just didn't seem, didn't seem to fit the bill. Or cut the mustard or whatever crazy saying you want to use. It was strange. Uh, this this entire little building here is strange. Like every time I walk in it, it, it's like I can't really tell if the shaking is the physics model shaking because it's not properly anchored down, or if it's uh, hello, blood sucker. Oh, that's just a zombie. I don't know why I'm wasting the ammo. Eh, what's a waste? I mean, I'm not sure if it's the physics model shaking around or if it's just, you know, the normal, uh, camera wobble. I would definitely say the physics model is partially to blame here, since I seem to be losing a lot of frames every time I step into here, but... There's a document in here. The unexpectedly high mutation rate discovered by using DNA fingerprinting techniques means that a significant portion of the world's population doing jobs where even low-level radiation is present or exposing their children the unborn children to increased risk, the uh, researchers say. This will be of serious concern to the nuclear industry, which has repeatedly rejected claims that exposure to radiation among its workers gain affect children yet to be conceived. The theory was put forward by a team at Southampton University as the reason for the leukemia center at Sellafield, but later rejected. Yeah. 
Nah. Not the best voiceover, but can't be worse than the uh, Call of Pripyat English voice actors. Look, you're whining somewhere else. You too. Ugh. Well, at least 556 beats the hell out of him. Alright, let's run on over to the uh, pig farm. I rem or somewhere near it. I remember there being a vehicle there. I think I'll head into X, uh, X-18 first, since it's closer, then I'll take on the bandit base. Oh, this is great. Just keep the weight under the threshold there, and keep these two artifacts enabled. Infinite Sprint. Is... A truck. I can't remember this truck I had is one of the driver of vehicles or not. Curiously, it seems to be sunk into the ground instead of floating above it. Whoa! Aha! Okay, screw you, pig farm. I'll be driving this instead. I think there's just a tractor or something back there anyway. That people right there, I remember that being dri drivable. Drivable. This thing's a goddamn speed demon. Of course, this place is infested with bandits as well. As it is in the vanilla. Detector's picking that up. Let's back up because I remember dying a number of times because of the uh, backlash of these. You just gotta remember the sights for the uh, grenade launcher are horribly inaccurate and just generally terrible. Hope it's safe enough for me to pick these up and throw them on a corpse. Grab this. I probably ought to stop picking up this ammo pretty soon here. What steps over here I heard? Let's have a look over here. The stalker suit and the uh, 556 ammo, just as I remembered it. Great. More mutants. I wonder what he was looking at. At least I'm assuming it's a he. I don't really have any intentions to check. Fire up cheat mode for the interior. Yeah, the bison. Bah, waste too much. I'm not gonna bother with it. Oh! <sighs> Good thing I'm slightly less incapable of paying attention to things than he was. Where's, where are these last three guys? I didn't realize I picked up two of those. Okay. Yep, there's core one bumping up 97%. Uh, 
Well, I think I'm gonna head for the upstairs area now. The guy that's down there. Woo! Guy yeah, that's down there, uh, based on uh, last time. He tends to just kind of stay down there, no matter how many of his buddies are shot down. Which should leave a guy up here, and hopefully isn't just sitting right around this corner. Aha. Easy pickings. See, I hit the threshold for this ammo. I'm not going to pick up any more because I really need to make a point in these uh, Stalker games to not carry a shit ton of secondary ammo unless I'm going to use it a lot. For a second there, it looked like this guy was standing. And I really hope that was just my mind playing tricks on me, otherwise that's goddamn terrifying. Then again, this is Stalker. A real horror game. Doesn't rely on gimmicks. Oh. Come on. I can make this jump. Should be able to anyway. I remember? Yep. Shit ton of this ammo, so I'm over encumbered again, but I'm sure I'll use enough ammo in this level area to uh to cure that issue once and for all. For the time being at least. So honestly I wish I would have remembered that stash earlier. Then I would have put all of this ammo into the uh <clears throat> into the bar stash and uh That thing didn't sound anywhere near that close to me. Shit. Just drink that right now for no apparent reason. It's too bad. Too bad he was sitting there. Like last time he was standing right next to this wall and the way he fell when I killed him it looked like he just kind of shot himself with a rifle. Pretty morbid but it's a kind of cool death pose. Pulls. I'm not pronouncing that. I'm really hoping the microphone didn't pick that up too loud. Just a bunch of people being loud in the halls. Uh, next level. <laughs>